Bryce memory shortage and what you can do about it. When you work on an elaborate scene, Bryce may certainly crash. Most of the time, the reason is that the memory Bryce can address is exhausted. However, Bryce 7 1 is quite stable and, if possible, it complains when it sees that it will run out of memory and refuses to perform the task. I'm going to load a huge object. The moment I click on this icon, memory moves already up. Though the object is not yet in the scene, I'm already using almost one megabyte of memory. This statuette is at half its full resolution and uses 425 megabytes. I accept it. So I have this statuette now in my scene and the memory moved up from the original 34 megabyte to 936 megabytes. Okay, it's a nice statuette. I want a second one in my scene. I control C and I get an unexpected error. I got an out of memory because Bryce cannot anymore hold a second one of this object in memory. Now I'm going to be a very clever guy and I select it right here and I get an out of memory so it won't work anymore. It tells us that an object is missing and that loading will continue without the object. The object that is missing actually is the memory. But I can use a smaller one which has only 50 megabyte and I can put this one into the scene without any problem. Memory usage went over 1 gigabyte already. Now it won't help if I delete those two objects. My memory of price is still running at 1 gigabyte. So what can we do to regain the memory? One possibility is to first save the scene. I call it XX. I put in a cube. I go to File, Revert to Saved. I revert. I have the old scene and my memory came back to 50 megabyte, which is a bit more than the original 34 megabyte Bryce uses when launched. So this is a possibility to clear memory. I can go about it again. Let's say I load the one with 206 megabyte and my memory moved up. I move it a little bit to the side. I control C and control V it but I still have only one, though my memory moved up as if I had two. So this is another problem that may happen if you use large objects or many objects. I get this one, though Control c and Control v didn't work. I have a second one. I'm running at 1.04 gigabytes. I delete the first one. This increased memory it didn't decrease, it increased memory because it is still in the scene. However, it does get a bit worse. You may be able to work on your scene using up to just about all the memory but still staying on the safe side. Now you save and price crashes. The file saved is corrupt. Your work is lost. This is because Bryce compresses the scene in memory before it writes the file to disk. The compressed file needs yet another bunch of memory and this may be enough to exceed the memory limit. Therefore, save your scene regularly and give every iteration a unique name. Here, numbers are a good idea. However, if you intend to number 01, 02, 03, you will notice that price removes the zero. This is so since at least price 4 and was an acknowledged bug at Coral for price 5 already. 
This bug was again reported to DAS for Bryce 6, but it is still present in 7.1. I just show you what I mean. So I have saved a file with the name X01. It's just an empty default scene. Now I'm saving this save as and it gives me already the 2 but the 0 has been removed. So this is a bit of a problem but that's not a great issue. Just so that you know. We usually tell that Bryce is still a 32-bit application and can therefore only address 2 gigabytes, even if the computer on which Bryce runs has a lot more. Well, 2 to the power of 32 is 4 gigabytes, not only 2. So what's wrong? To put a complicated story and a lot of computer history into a nutshell, the idea was to put the other 2 gigabytes to other uses for the operating system. Nevertheless, by some ingenuity, a 2-byte space was reserved in the file header of any executable program, an exe, or in any dynamic link library, DLL. We're talking Windows here. I really don't know how the Mac works. This 2-byte space can be used to flag Windows loading the program that the whole memory address space can be used by this program and known has to be reserved for all the tasks. Setting this flag to the appropriate value makes the program large address aware. We see it in the file header under characteristics the application can handle more than 2 gigabytes address space. Here I'm looking at my installed Bryce 5 and check here in the file header the application cannot handle 2 gigabyte address space or more than 2 gigabyte address space because there is no check mark in here. Setting this LAA flag makes only sense in a 64-bit computer with more than 4 GB of memory installed. Mind that Windows Vista 7 and 8 use roughly 2 GB to run. If you give price 4 GB, your computer needs to have at least 6 GB of memory installed. Cool! But how do I set this flag? The CFF Explorer I show is a bit complicated for the casual user. Much easier to use is the tool from Tech Power Up. Scroll a bit down and you find here the zip file of LLA with only 14 kilobytes. You just download it. I've already done so of course. And if you're at it, do also get the process monitor which is on the same side and is also a huge program with 9 kilobytes of size, the zip. So you can download it. I've also already done so. There is no installation necessary. Just unpack both into a folder of your liking and create a shortcut if you wish. I just copied the two zip files into the folder this is the one I've downloaded, this is the one I've downloaded, this is the large address of a executable and the progress monitor executable. That's all there is and if you unpack them you get large address of a and process monitor you see this is 40 kilobytes and this is 26 kilobytes. I demonstrate now how you set the flag to any program and what the monitor is for and why it is helpful if you create an elaborate price scene. Start the address aware executable. This is the basic mode. David has a video how to use it. So if you're interested you can watch David's video about this basic mode. I highly recommend to set mode to advanced. Click on Add, Files, you want to process, 
you load this one and you get such a display. Perhaps you have only Bryce at the moment, but perhaps you also have some other programs you want to make large address aware. Here is my list and you can see on the right how the original flag is set and to the left whether you have set it or not. So if you find like this HDRI Luminance program it has original already true. This flag can be set when the program source code is compiled. Bryce has it false and now it is false also but I want to set it so I select the program and with selected force address aware and this doesn't work. It doesn't work because Bryce is running already so I have to quit Bryce first and I can set it we selected force address aware and then it gets true. You can always we selected set to original. As you can see you can easily revert to the original setting if you have second thoughts later on. The flag stays set until you run large address aware again and perform changes. You will notice the moment when you made changes you get just another file which is savings where your programs and their settings you have in the list are saved. If you set options to load previous files which is ticked by default you will always get your list you don't have to do it a second time. The next time you start Large Address Aware you have all your programs already listed. So the advanced mode is actually much simpler than the basic mode. As you see I have now set for Bryce 7.1 the LLA to true. Now to the process monitor. You probably know the Windows Task Manager. It also shows processor and memory usage among other things but this is for the whole computer and it can hamper Bryce by making some options unavailable. It took me a while until I discovered that. If you want to know how much Bryce is using you have to note the memory usage before you start Bryce and calculate always the difference. This is tedious and not always correct because Windows starts and stops processes like antivirus scanners without you doing a thing. So here comes in the process monitor as a very handy tool. Launch the program but don't do anything. I just start it and don't do anything at the moment. Now start the price. Now find Bryce into the list which can be a bit of a pain because sometimes you find it quite swiftly sometimes it takes a while. So here it is Bryce and then click on start. In a moment you see on top a graph of the memory used by Bryce the handles in the second window and at the bottom the processor usage. Always only for Bryce. At the right side you find numerical statistics. Lowest used, highest used, currently used. If you know how much memory is installed in your computer you see immediately when you approach the maximum value. If your system has 2 gigabytes of memory Windows will already use a large part of it and Bryce has to live with what remains. But if your system has 4 or more gigabytes of memory Bryce can use full 2 gigabytes. And if you make it large address aware as I did it can use up to around 3.4 gigabytes. I never got the full 4 gigabytes but from 2 to 3 it's already 50% more. 
So Bryce has launched, we have 34 megabytes used. Now I'm going to load my large object again. It takes a while. You see the memory jumps up, memory usage. And now it's only loaded in memory, but I haven't in the scene yet but I take it in the scene and here it is so we see the memory usage 926 megabytes now I control C and control V it this hasn't worked the second time it has worked I already use 1.2.6 gigabytes I made price large address aware and I could load a second one and I have now two of the high resolution objects so this is probably not exactly what you want but you see Bryce uses now 2.6 megabytes and the processor is working because I'm rendering in the background what does the task monitor tell us it tells us that we used 4.5 gigabytes of memory but price uses two and a half gigabytes and that's why this process monitor is very very helpful to see how your scenes develop and when price is going to run out of memory now there is a small quirk if you close price and restart it the process monitor will stop and you can't start it anymore you have to quit it and relaunch it as well then find price in the list and start monitoring but hey it's free small and very helpful with this we finally reached the end of this video I hope it was instructive cheers now